All right, we got one right here. Check this out. Idiot cops arrest chalk artist drawing on public sidewalk. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Stupid cops. Here we go. Get the police are out here messing with me. I'm just trying to do my sidewalk chalk. Hold on, hold on. It's okay. We try to talk to you. You don't listen. We try to be civilized. Well, you want to give your break. Now you're pushing us to do this. I'm not pushing you to do this. You're yes, no, you do this because you're bullying. Oh, we're bullying. Yeah. So, breaking the law? Sidewalk. No bullying. Okay. In an infuriating video posted to his Facebook, Texas chalk artist Lakey Hinson was arrested by Leon Valley cops while creating a new... Oh, Leon Valley! ...sidewalk, including some classic police gaslighting while he's in cuffs. Oh, yeah, I guess who runs Leon Valley? <laughs> Joseph Zavaggio, say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> saggy vagina fuck brain. Yeah, that motherfucker. Leon Valley is full of fucking corrupt bunch of bullshit cops. so not only did the one officer acknowledge and concede that the design will be washed away by incoming rain he continues to double down on harassing Hinson once Hinson tries to get back to work but just stop but just stop okay? this is impermanent man but was Hinson breaking any laws from what we can see in the footage and by his own admission Hinson is on a public sidewalk and we didn't hear either officer tell him that he's trespassing they yeah he get caught saying oh you're oh we're bullies huh? all right or we'll bully your ass bitch ass to jail now guess what you just picked up another charge reportedly responding to a graffiti complaint and according to Texas law a person can only be charged with graffiti by using paint an indelible marker like a paint gun he was using chalk that's designed to make it as difficult as possible to wash the paint away or an etching or engraving device that permanently alters someone's property meaning that chalk does not qualify for a real graffiti charge but that obviously won't stop the cops you're just trying to get some tip money off of that or what yeah Gotcha. Can create beauty in a public place. As long as you don't have a permit for that. You don't need a permit. No? Okay. You gotta explain that to the judge, okay? Take his phone. We saw the evidence of the crime this year. So you saw evidence. Let's take that. The officers taking Hinson's chalk in for evidence and calling it the elements of the crime is hilarious, yet frustrating that this is what community resources are being used for. Now that Henson is officially arrested, let's see what the officer's supervisor had to say. Marker or what? No, he's chalk. Okay, is that arrestable thing? But yes, because he's okay, chalk, right. marker, permanent marker, all that stuff. I'm, I'm gonna read the statute again. I wanna give you a break. Our for has to be in double, meaning not erasable. So uh, chalk is washed. I don't know if the water is not washing okay. off, so it's gonna okay. take a little okay. bit of time. But chalk, uh, Jeff, is chalk is not considered a permanent yeah. marking. Okay, so the, I told him, hey, what is this doing? I'm gonna give him a break, hey, just stop. No, no, I, I'm doing art. This is my right, I can't do this. You can do the sidewalk? Go on the sidewalk. Okay, that's why I'd be a restaurant fence. Yeah, I'm gonna check right now. If that's the case, you just let him go. You yeah, double check, but well, be careful, because if we bring something back to like that, then. We are lawfully detained them, then I don't yeah. end up for lawsuit. And there you have it. Boom. False arrest and hopefully Boom. There you go. See, that sergeant knows what's going on. He's a smart officer. He knows what happens. Because he knows. He's smart. He's not stupid because he's seen it. Because he knows. He watches the news. He watches TV. When people get arrested, unlawfully charged, or unlawfully arrested, what happens? Lawsuits. Yeah. The police department gets fucked. <laughs> 
Boom, there you have it. Another lawsuit, all because a couple bullies wanted to exert their power on a civilian. Just yeah, because he went fucking tyrant. They take me to the uh, Leon Valley Police Department, put me in a little cell. I'm in there about 15 minutes. I hear them laughing and joking about me. And then they come back and they're like, hey, we called our district attorney. Turns out we can't do anything about chalk. And I'm like, I... I told you that like multiple officers have tried this in the past and every time they check at me or try to arrest me it gets dropped because I'm not doing anything wrong and they're just being bullies picking on someone who will not mindlessly like just obey them I wasn't doing anything wrong and the idea that police will arrest you when you're not doing anything wrong is something you should probably be a little bit nervous about and maybe stand up for because if you're silent about it one day you'll be doing something and you'll be getting publicly arrested and having people just look at you like you're a criminal. Excellent points here by yep. Hudson, as sharing these types of encounters are one of our only ways to truly hold law enforcement accountable. The police told me that RBFCU had, uh, had called them on me, and that's where the complaint came from. They just responded to me about five minutes ago saying that they they don't have any record of anybody calling them. Uh, who knows, maybe we'll find out that not only did the police wrongfully arrest me for sidewalk chalk on public property, maybe they lied about a bank. And if they happen to lie about a bank, ooh, man. That'd really be bad. Me being a homeless person, I've noticed a lot of my friends are people that like Friends and family are just like, oh, you you should change how you're living like you. It's like, dude, I've been arrested and let go for this. If I was doing illegal things, I would have a record. If a bank gets mad at the police and calls them out, maybe, just maybe, people would be like, oh, maybe Lakey was actually trying to stand for something and, and we should have listened to him instead of talked down to him or told him to do it a different way or told him to go to California where he's more accepted. Maybe, maybe he's trying. Following the arrest, all charges against Hinson were dropped, as was the case in all of his previously reported arrests for creating chalk art. Of note, he is still considering legal action against the department and city for having his rights violated, and given his admitted status of being unhoused, he is in need of an attorney to work the case pro bono. As given the evidence we have seen, it seems... You know, I would tell us, dude, good luck in Leon Valley because there's a lot of otters that try that shit. Jack Miller has tried that shit. Pink Camera Magic and a few others have tried the shit and failed like that. Well, I, I, I could see maybe this one going to a good amount of part. I could see this dude winning shit like that, shit like that. But Leon Valley is full of fucking stupid, corrupt, stupid cops. You know, and like, luckily that sergeant was pretty smart. He knew. He knew. But yeah, I remember back in the days how whole fucking department was full of fucking fucked up cops like that, Leon Valley. Because of uh, saggy vaginas Joe, Joe Savaggio. You know, the guy who got fired in San Antonio, but he cost the taxpayers a quarter of a million dollars. With that said, I'm out here in my chat. Peace out.